Then next, let's click on uh, this subfolder. This is this subfolder um, I created uh, previously because uh, in this folder I uh, stored a SAS code. But this is the program that I want to show you how to move from SAS Universal Edition to SAS On Demand and uh, how to update the SAS programs uh, in my course. Okay. So basically, um, moving from SAS Universal Edition to SAS On Demand for academic. Um, the only thing needs to be changed or updated uh, for the SAS programs in all my course is to change uh, the home folder directory from this to this. Okay, so this is the home folder directory in SAS University Edition. So you can see this directory in almost all of, of my uh, SAS programs of my SAS course. Okay, so we just need to change this part to this one. This one um, is the home folder directory for SAS on demand. Okay, so you can click on this and then right click and then go to the property. And here, so you can see under location, this is the um, home folder directory uh, for me in SAS on demand. So this part is the part uh, before at of my Gmail address, which is my uh, email login information for SAS on demand. So you will need to change this part to your information. Okay. So in this video, I include SAS codes uh, specifying file or folder paths included in my courses. And also I include a situation with subfolder created under uh, the home folder. Okay. And one thing I want to mention is um, this video uh, is just for um, showing how to change file or folder paths in SAS on demand. So you don't have to understand the SAS code yet because the, all the SAS code will be explained in detail in later lectures. Okay. So for the situation with subfolder created on the home folder, uh, basically we change this uh, to this. Okay. So just one thing to remember in this situation, you will need to create the subfolder under files home, which is here. Okay. If the subfolder is not created yet and the name of the uh, created folder are case sensitive. All right. So let's start look at the sample codes below. So first, uh, let's look at example one is the in file statement in my SAS program. So we can see uh, in the in file statement in the quotation mark, we have folders slash my folders. And then we need to change this to home slash C dot share. Okay. And then this part is just the um, a data file. So we don't need to change that. We only need to change uh, this part. Okay. And then for example, two is a proc import procedure. So we can see in the quotation mark here again, we see these folders slash my folders. So we only need to change this to slash home slash C dot share X. Okay. And then for um, example three, it's a lab name is the same thing. Um, so uh, in the SAS program, it shows as uh, folder slash my folders in quotation marks. And then we just need to change this part to the slash home slash C dot share X. Okay. And then let's look at the example four. So this example four, it's a little bit different from the first three examples. So this is the uh, SAS code um, in uh, my SAS program. So we can see in the quotation marks is slash folder slash my folders and then slash formats. So we can see under uh, this home drive or home folder, we have another folder which is called formats. So this formats folder is the subfolder under the home drive. So first we need to double check if we have already created or this folder yet. So one thing I want to mention here is um, I remember uh, in all the data files uh, in this data folder, we already have a format folder created here, but um, we cannot upload folder directly into SAS on demand. So that's why um, in SAS on demand, we can see under files home, we don't see that formats folder uh, uploaded. 
So that's why uh, we have to create the format folder uh, in SAS on demand. And also um, in this format folder, uh, we have a file inside. So um, this file uh, can be generated with the SAS programs included in the course eventually. But if you want to upload uh, this format files into the format folder, you're going to create it in the SAS on demand. Now you can do that. Okay. So let's go back to the SAS on demand. And then uh, in this case, we're going to create a folder, a new folder uh, under the home drive. So the folder's name would be uh, formats. So this folder names matches to the folder names included uh, in the SAS code, okay? And then we can click on save. And then we click on this uh, newly created formats folder and upload, upload the files inside the format folder uh, in the data zip file, okay, which is this one. And then click on open and then upload. So in this way, we have this new formats folder created. And also inside, we have uploaded uh, the format file uh, from the data zip file, okay? And to update the code, we just need to, again, change this to this home uh, slash c dot x, okay? Of course, uh, we need this subfolders here, okay?